towards you with the unicorn messages coming right out here we have this beautiful celebration card so it is time for you to truly embrace with this beautiful purple energy healing love protection and also just having this lovely moon energy here too so even like celebrating some new um new situations in your life and it's saying a positive outcome is assured celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements so if you have some things that you're grateful for or proud of please comment them so that we can celebrate you together because it's really important for us also to use this wisdom right when we're in this beautiful energy of happiness and joy we attract more and if you're not in that good energy you attract more so it's very powerful for you to know but look what you got look what you got you know why you're celebrating so hard scorpio because you just got this freedom <laughs> wow just soaring above those clouds and no matter how dark these clouds are you don't even know you just up here on pegasus having the time of your life over here live wild and free and it's funny because our group our facebook community cavalry 2023 is living healthy and free so add a little wild in there too but it says live wild and free and choose your freedom claim your independence so celebrating these wins also has to do with celebrating all the ways that you have gained independence. And this can also be like switching up. It's almost like a plot twist or a pivot here. I feel like you're definitely moving in a new direction. So celebrating these um, moments or just truly being able to do what you want at this time is really going to be helping you. Or perhaps there's some aspect of freedom that you are connecting with here. Let's see what else is coming through with the tarot. What are the messages? king of pentacles well maybe you're gaining some financial stability some security there could definitely be someone who is coming towards you to make a serious offer king of pentacles is also someone who is like the person you marry who is either already your spouse or partner but this can also be someone who is just bringing in that security and stability and safety they make you feel grounded they're also there for you they're ready like they're ready in whatever way you need them which i feel like sometimes is part of this so for many of you too if it's yourself then you're embracing that boss energy you're embracing that confidence you're embracing that stability so that you can do and have what you want when you want and this can also with the wild here just be like very natural okay because nature right green is nature and that's also the heart chakra and we have the seven of pentacles so really just enjoying the fruits of your labor as she's literally sitting here with a basket of fruit so all those things that you have been patiently waiting for to come to fruition to come into full bloom this can also be this person seeing you and just patiently waiting for the right time to make this offer to come towards you and to give you whatever that offer is now for some of you definitely some passion on the way for others of us with that knight of wands energy is kind of showing itself and you know what I mean so there could be some wand dingling energy coming in. but let's see what else is happening what is coming in for my Scorpios three of wands we're making some decisions I feel like you're also at this point right now it's not a crossroads it's like you're just kind of like now where am I going and that's part of this freedom that you have here to be able to go into a new energy and new space so don't sabotage it either now this can also talk about yeah it, it can also talk about uh getting a promotion in some kind of way we have the ace of pentacles as i'm saying that so there's definitely money coming in there's definitely stability coming in a big offer but the three of wands here she's even like sitting at the top and she's got her dragon by her side and she's got her lion by her side and she's looking through this glass to see the future right and just seeing where the light is beaming and the different ways she can go but there's also like there hasn't been a choice yet that's being made but there's different ways to achieve it and different ways to go to it because the path you don't see this path so it's trusting the path here as well but it's almost like you have the freedom to choose where you're going and with the seven of swords here too again be careful with any deception be careful with any lies um this is also maybe also you not sabotaging this either i talked about those dark clouds so it's sort of like don't let those fears get you down don't let those blockages 
messages come in because there are delays. With the hangman energy here too, some of you could be separating because of whatever these lies are, but this can also just talk about if you are just experiencing delays, the big part too is like he's holding his head, right? So if you're kind of stuck in your head, um, one, of the, one of my mentors always said, if you're stuck in your head, you're dead, right? Tony Robbins always says that too. So there's this element of stop overthinking because when you're overthinking, you can't be doing at the same time and that kind of keeps you stuck. So celebrating these wins is also going to be like celebrating the opportunity. So congratulations. You definitely deserve whatever this pentacle is for you. If it's a love offer, if it's a commitment, if it is again, a boss um, raise or even a promotion, I feel like some of you are like manager or, or client that ladder because you've got this magician energy which is the manifestation which is the creation of bringing in all those skills and understandings we also have the um, infinity symbol here too so there's definitely a lot of personal truth here and I feel like it's also your consistency and it's very interesting because he's very like dark looking but like there's just this element with like these different elementals here too but I for me it's also showing that like no matter what it's taken like it's taken a lot of you and it's taken a lot of parts of you for this to happen and it's also happening in a way because there's a lot of manifestation there's a lot of creating there's a lot of with the magician energy it's magical it's fun it's creative it's different so we also have the knight of swords some truth coming out right so we've got some quick movement here some sharp conversation and communication and the high priestess so trust trust your ideas trust your plans these are all being given to you for a reason but with the high priestess here as well there is this element and again a lot of butterflies like to always point it out the blue butterflies are significant but there's also this like swiftness and whenever someone comes towards you like that like if someone's rushing in towards you trusting your intuition communicating in a way with the blue here communicating in a very peaceful way but if you're also like manifesting and your intuition is telling you that you're going in the right direction or even if like you're being presented with different ways you could go you're choosing which one based on her right the high priestess knows the secrets and that's why i'm saying there could be some secrets you could also be aware of whatever this situation is or these sabotages here too where of course it's going to take a lot for you to break free from whatever this delay is and and causing these pauses and i feel like that's what also makes the reward so much more special because then we have the eight of wands eight of yeah eight of wands at the bottom here which is literally a stampede of um unicorns and that's your blessing because we talk about a group of unicorns as a blessing rushing in and travel here too could be a lot of movement uh but this is part of the freedom that's really taking off for you and it's also bringing communication it's bringing a lot of your wishes and dreams and you know it's coming like you know my big break's happening you know whatever it is it's there so let's see what else the love messages are for you scorpio let's see what we can also clarify we have regret someone feels remorse for the way they treated you and that could be the seven of swords because there could definitely be some situations where perhaps there wasn't full honesty full disclosure or just in general like deceptions aren't like sometimes <coughs> we don't say something because I see my throat chakra right away sometimes we don't say something because we don't want to hurt their feelings or sometimes we don't tell them the full truth so we omit something but when someone finds it out a betrayal is a betrayal because they still feel betrayed that you didn't tell them in the first place and we always say like you should have told me and then when you tell someone then they're mad right so this could be something that you're learning or this could have been something that caused the separation or part of what was needing to be removing this delay was this communication and for someone you know maybe they weren't able to come to terms with something so that's what caused the regret caused this conversation caused the situation um, again with the knight of swords too this could be like a really sharp painful conversation or truth coming out healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting so this is also like really taking us back I feel like this was like a triggering traumatic situation but this healing will free you so that's a lot of reasons to celebrate sometimes we meet people to close out those wounds to air out those 
those wounds, if you will. We also have unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. So you are truly worthy of so much. And I feel like in many ways there are regrets, but there's this opportunity for healing. We also have support. Lean on your inner circle during this time so that you're not alone, so that you're surrounded by people. And that could be part of the celebration is even with these two owls, maybe there's specific people <laughs> protected. Whew, you are safe and divinely guided. So no matter what is going on, um, this is definitely a time for you to be aware. And especially with my throat chakra, <coughs> you know, it is safe for you to speak up. Finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. So that's part of it as well. Maybe for some of you, right? Like they're unable to give you what you deserve because they can't support you. Um, and I'm not saying supporting someone. It's just like when someone is generous and taking care of you or vice versa, right? We take care of our person so that they support us. But that's also an expectation. But there's this element of where one is not balanced, okay? The, the connection isn't balanced. And boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. So this is also what's going to help you be able to create that that experience, right? Knowing, hey, I'm happy when I avoid these dark clouds. I'm happy when I'm over here. And this isn't just about like escapism or, you know, avoiding stuff. This is also talking about being able to stay grounded and stable. But also you are going to be able to stay in this energy when you operate within that safe space around you here. So seeing the bigger picture, understanding. Understanding the, that there's more coming for you. I feel like moving past whatever this is or this period of separation right now is part of what you are being guided to do. So allowing this healing is really going to bring this. So there's a lot of beauty here too because this also leads to new beginnings. But there is something serious coming out of this. You're going to be gaining a lot of intuition. So trust your dreams, trust your visions. They are powerful, but also learn how to discern what is your anxiety, what is your fear, and what is your trauma trying to tell you here. Because sometimes uh, this is where we're challenged, right? We forget that that situation right now is sparking a past situation, and then that's coming up for us to heal it, not necessarily as a repeat, but as an ability to face that fear or face that situation. So I hope you do. And I feel like your last reading was also about facing yourself. And maybe now it's also about facing the other person. But it's more importantly like to put your face forward to the sun and to just face the freedom and give yourself that beautiful opportunity and just know that a positive outcome is happening here um so celebrate the success celebrate your achievements because all of this took a lot of work i'm talking about these painful growing pains right now and i know you feel in them and scorpio you are the master of transformation and transitions so please know that you've got this and it's going to be leading to beautiful places for you but there might be some people or situations that don't get to come to the next level and you're going to know who that is. So I hope that helps you. Please join our beautiful communities on Facebook as well. And please know that there are a lot of accounts that pretend to be me. So please do not send your money to anyone outside of my website. I, you can only book with me, the real Miss Edie there. Otherwise, everything else, please help keep our community safe and report. Join our community on Facebook and don't forget to change to choose and check out our beautiful events on uh, every Thursday night in the month of February. And please check back anytime you're seeing this to make sure you join us for our next upcoming big healing events. As always, God bless all of you and turn.